I'd like to welcome everyone with us uh, today, uh, joining us here. It's a great day. It's a historic day in the um, history of our, our hospital. Tenant Healthcare, Hilton Head Regional Healthcare, Tide Watch, Standalone ER. Uh, this is a, a, a great day in the history of our hospital, our community. Tenant has seen the, uh, ha has had a great vision and they've seen the need, they're fulfilling the need for a standalone ER and the impact that's going to have on our community to deliver quality health care, which is what this hospital has been based on. Um, since 2004, uh, you, you're standing on a campus now that uh, Tenant has invested almost $55 million. Uh, our standalone ER is going to be another $15 million with the creation of nearly 60 new jobs. And I'd like to add also that Tenant Healthcare here is one of the county's largest employers with 350 employees here. So that, that's something to brag about. But Tenant Healthcare continues to invest in our community and realize the benefits of doing so and also being involved in our community and participating, being one with the community and realizing the need of, of what our citizens expect in health care and what they deserve. So today is truly a great day. We're here to celebrate the groundbreaking of a new facility here and what it's going to mean to our community. So I'd like to congratulate not only Joel, his staff, all of our doctors, nurses, and personnel here on doing a good job, but for a bright future and what we anticipate and what we expect going forward in 2019 with, with Tenant Health Care and Coastal Carolina Hospital. So congratulations. And at this time, uh, I'm honored and it's a true privilege to have a close friend of mine, Mayor Harry, Harry Williams, the mayor of the city of Hardyville. Harry, please come on up. I'd like to welcome you and thank you for being with us today, Harry. Thank you, Marty. Well, first of all, on behalf of the city of Hardyville, uh, welcome to uh, Coastal Carolina and your new facility to the city of Hardyville. I must say that this is probably the most highly anticipated arrival of any new facility that we have in the city and see that people are already calling and asking about it <laughs> and and why do i say that well just outside this facility there are currently approximately 3500 seniors living in sun city that are literally a golf cart ride away from this facility in addition, we'll probably have another 2,000 new residents based on the building that'll be arriving within the next two years. So that's 5,500 people who can ride their golf cart while they're having a heart attack going to this <laughs> facility. Just up the road, probably a mile away, we, in the next 15 years, we're gonna be building 9,500 new homes. Many of them will also be seniors. And what all these people need more than anything is health care and quality health care in a short period of time. Because let's face it, all us seniors, we're living a little longer and our health care needs are greater than ever before. So there cannot be a greater addition to our community than this emergency room facility. And, and we thank you for coming on behalf of the City Council of Hardyville and all the staff in Hardyville. Welcome, and good luck. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm Dr. Paul Zorch. I'm the uh, medical director of the emergency department here at uh, Coastal Carolina. I've been here at, in Hardyville for almost nine and a half years. And when I started at, at Coastal, we were pretty small. We didn't do too much. We maybe saw about 25 or 30 patients a day. We have expanded that greatly. We've at least doubled that, sometimes tripled that on days that I've been here. And it's, it's unbelievable how busy we've become and how, how involved in the community we've become. The programs that we've been instituted since I've been here have been a tremendous boon to this community uh, with tenants' uh, investment in our community and, and the programs that they developed. It's just a tremendous place to be and it's very exciting to be here to actually be part of this new department that will certainly expand our ability to provide quality, competent health care in a timely fashion to this community. Our ER here in Coastal is, is getting pretty crowded. We've expanded it somewhat, uh, but it's, going, it's, it's getting busier and busier. And with the growth that you've just heard or that our mayor said about, we're just definitely going to need more space. 
And this new department will certainly add to that. I'm confident that we will have continued excellent care delivered by our physicians, nurses, and mid-level staff, and the ancillary staff as well with the CT and lab right there in the hospital. It's, a, it's going to be an emergency room. It's going to be part of our hospital. And I want people to realize that and understand that because that's very important to understand that we are an arm of the hospital now that's going to be closer to the area that's growing in this community. And I'm very excited about that. I'm just very proud to be part of this. I'm, I'm proud and happy to see the growth that we've sustained over the years and just, just really excited to be part of this. And, and I congratulate our team here. I'm, I'm thankful for Tenant that, and the investment that they've done. And I'm just really excited to, to see this happen. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Joel Taylor, CEO of Coastal Carolina Hospital and the Chief Operating Officer of Hilton Head Regional Healthcare. As those that spoke before me said, this is an exciting day. The Tidewatch Emergency Department will be the first freestanding emergency department in the Low Country, the seventh in the state, and represents a $15 million investment in Jasper County. We are part of Hilton Head Regional Healthcare. And I want to tell you a little bit about Hilton Head Regional Healthcare, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the Tidewatch Emergency Department. Hilton Head Regional Healthcare is comprised of Coast Carolina Hospital as well as Hilton Head Hospital, two outpatient facilities, and numerous physician clinics. We employ over 1,200 individuals, and this year alone, we will serve over 70,000 individual patients. Coastal Carolina Hospital opened in 2004 with the mission to meet the changing needs of our growing community through the compassionate delivery of high quality, compassionate care. Today we announce the commencement of construction on the Tidewatch Emergency Department, and we further that mission. We've been proud partners with Jasper County. We continue to serve Jasper and Beaufort counties up and down Highway 278. The Tidewatch Emergency Department will offer 24-7 access to board certified physicians there when an emergency strikes closer to residences in Sun City but really all along Highway 170. From Pritchardville to Bluffton to Okity to north of the Broad, we will have access to physicians when needed and we're excited about that. We believe that the growth of our own emergency departments in which we will see over 50,000 visits this year between the two ERs coupled with the growth in the community that the mayor and others mentioned. Really, this is the right facility at the right time, at the perfect location. We look forward to continued partnership with the communities, with our medical staff, with the EMS providers to meet the needs of this community. That's why we're here. This facility will offer on-site advanced imaging, on-site lab, access to board certified physicians at a moment's notice. <clears throat> the construction of this facility started just last week. We expect that it will be complete in the summer of next year, and I'll be excited to welcome you all to the ribbon cutting then. It will be a festive time, but also just a reinforcement of our mission and our commitment to the service of our patients and our communities. Thank you again for coming out. I'm happy to answer any questions you all may have.